So here's how to change App Store password to Face ID. So I assume you are in this situation. You're downloading apps from the App Store and it always asks you to type your long password in, even for free purchases. And that can be annoying. So here I'll show you how to turn the security measure from passwords to Face ID or Touch ID, or even just download apps using one tab without any password or Face ID at all. So step one, you need to have Face ID set up for unlocking your iPhone. You probably do, but if not, go to Settings, Face ID and Passcode, and enable Phone Unlock in the Face ID section. Then rotate your hand around and follow the instructions, and you're going to be good to go. A similar process to Touch ID, but instead of Face ID, you use your fingerprint. Step 2. In the same section in the Settings, make sure that you also enable Face ID for iTunes and App Store. It's right under the iPhone Unlock. In fact, I'd advise you to enable it for all the things, of course, depending on what you do and what you use, but I have it turned on for all of the other options below it and even for third-party apps because I trust this security measure. But now when downloading apps, you'd just be required to double press the side button and scan your face to authenticate. But in case your iPhone fails to recognize you for whatever reason, which may include bad visibility, or being too far from the screen or anything else, then you'll be required to type the password in nonetheless. So you need to make sure that the first couple of tries you have need to be per properly executed when downloading third-party apps from the App Store. By the way, guys, really quickly before we continue, I want to say that if you are new on this channel, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tag YouTube, which was known as Apple Fox before, because you're not going to miss future videos like these and future tutorials that may help you. Anyways, there is also another option, and the beauty of this is that you can decide to use neither of the methods. You can simply tap the download button and it starts installing. To make this work, you'll need to disable Face ID for iTunes and App Store. The same thing would just turn on and enabled. So of course, it's in the settings and Face ID and passcode and it's the second option on the list. So turn it off and we can come back to the main section in the settings. So scroll all the way to the top and tap on your name, which is the iCloud profile tab. Then go to media and purchases. It even has the App Store icon next to it, so that's how you can recognize it easily. Tapping on it gives you multiple buttons, so click password settings and uh, the one purchasing. You should keep that at requ require after 15 minutes. I'm going to clarify it in just a second. And the thing at the bottom, which says free downloads and require a password, keep this turned off. So it's not supposed to be green, it's supposed to be gray as it is here. And now, basically, when downloading apps that aren't free and cost money, you'll still need to type your long password in, but for the next 15 minutes following your purchase, you'll be able to buy other apps and products with just one tap and without any password. This applies not only to paid apps, but also to ringtones or music on iTunes or other things that you can purchase. Unfortunately, the amount of time, which is 15 minutes, cannot be modified for it to be longer or anything like that. The 15 minutes option is the only one we have. But when it comes to free apps on the App Store, no matter when or where you go ahead and decide to download it, you just click on Get and it's just going to tell you to click on Install once again, but no password, no Face ID, Touch ID or anything like that. You click on Install, it makes the sound and you're good to go. So this is also an option. But is it a safe way to go about it? Of course not. I don't use it this way and I don't advise this for you. But it is an option. As we are already used to from Apple, they try to bury the less secure ways of using. Uh, they try to put it somewhere so you can not get to it easily. Just like the four-digit passcode, for example. Yes, it's an option, but by default, Apple pushes the six digits one. So if you don't pay attention to it or don't really care, you end up with the better and more secure longer option in the passcode of six digits. And I think this is the same case here. Although you can, in theory, download apps without any password, it's not advised or promoted from Apple's side, and therefore they'll bury it somewhere deep in the settings that people need to search it up online to find out how it works. And yeah, this is the case.
So now, if you ever wanted to download an app from another country's app store, then click here to find out how to switch to a different app store country and see you later.